This next match review comes to us from Bios Bunny, who has 2.5k hours in the game of Dead by Daylight, so they have uh, a lot past that uh, time that I expect most people to be moderately good at Dead by Daylight in terms of their macro and micro pressure, that 1k hour zone. Uh, you are playing Dracula, good old Dracula, who is uh, slated by most people to be like a strong A tier killer. Just keep in mind this killer is particularly punishing if you don't get the most out of the three forms. Um, so while they are a great killer, they are also a very punishing killer at the same time. You're playing on Shelter Woods, though, which is uh, one of the biggest maps in the game at 176 square tiles. So uh, also that main building can spawn uh, an infinite with the way the tents go, which is really obnoxious. So that's not working in your favor. Um, yeah, let's take a look at your add-ons, your perks. Uh, you're using the boots and the hat, which is pretty good. Um, hat got a lot better after they fixed it, and now... Um, you know, the transform between forms is definitely more emphasized since they took hug tech out. The boots have always been good. A lot more um, map pressure available to you in bat form. Uh, other stuff like the stone. Um, the Medusa hair is now good after they made that <laughs> add-on not useless anymore. Um, and, it, and I don't know. It's like, it is really sad they got rid of wolf hug tech, but also I would not be... Um, too negligent to the form at the same time because it's still helpful for tracking and longer loops so you can still use stuff like force of echo um but it's just not as good as it used to be and killer doll that's the other one as well uh your um your build is like besides lethal by itself with no synergy besides the fourth hook of grim embrace pretty good uh, it is a standard four hook build on everyone um just keep in mind that if you can't find the fourth person in the Immerse, you will get less value out of your build, but otherwise, it's great. Especially Grim on Dracula. Grim on Dracula is nice because you just immediately fly away from the hook with uh, the bat form, so... Grim's actually pretty nice in Dracula. It's like, like for, for the fact that I don't really run it a whole lot, like, I actually really, really like that perk on that character. You had the right idea to wait there to get to have a little bit of patience. But, like, you should have just, like, faked it and swung. You wouldn't have made that. That's a thing that I had trouble with in adjusting to, is that, like... Just because you can go for Hellfire... Doesn't mean you should. What does Grim do? Uh, every time you hook a person, it blocks the gens for a short period of time. But if you can hook all four people, it blocks it for a really long time. And do you get a short ordering thing on your obsession? But it's only when you get all four unique hooks on everyone. So far, you seem just kind of like very like twitchy. Like you don't really want to like commit to anything so far. And as a result of trying to pressure everything, you're kind of doing nothing at the moment. You don't mind. They can hear your bats very clearly. So even though you're technically undetectable, you're not going to be sneaking up on people necessarily with it. And you also hold in for it. You should hit this. There you go. Good. Yeah. Oh, you're going into bat form. Okay, you should teleport here. Or transform, rather, not teleport. Shape shift. Okay, you're already down two giants because you tried to pressure too much at once and ended up pressuring nothing. I would just demon pick here. Okay, now he's going to make it out of the pilot. I, usually, this would be an okay play, but the problem is that... uh. You're down two gens, so you really needed that extra pressure. Yeah, and now you're playing this game of trying to... If he wasn't under the pound, you just picked there, you were fine. Now you're in this, like, contention thing situation that you frankly put yourself in because you were... You hesitated on the pickup. Got it. They're definitely going to get this now. No, they just gave up on it. Never mind. <laughs> they just gave up on it. They're just like, okay, we invested all this time in this, but now we're leaving. What the heck? They definitely should have gone that. They just flubbed it. They messed up. That's a them issue, not a you issue. Stop with the that gen I would actually kick because it's right next to a hook survivor, which means they have to choose between unregressing the gen and getting the survivor. So that's a little bit more of a time crunch for them. So it's actually a little bit better to uh, I get that. Also, you didn't transform into bat form to immediately proc uh, the um the grim. Definitely the follow of Dracula is Hellfire is like your main an main anti-chase, 
Wolf form to track, but also uh, shut down a longer loops. Also, uh, there were screw tricks all around you. You chose to go to none of them. Please make sure you're getting value out of your screw trucks. There's no reason you should have that you, uh, there's no reason there for you to just like not go for a screw truck. I don't know why you did that. Um, like I was saying, Dracula's like the usual full gameplay is Hellfire, main anti chase, wolf for tracking and longer loops, and then uh, bat for uh, uh, macro pressure and catching up, like over god pallets, and like you did there at that like uh, infinite setup to just go through the window and immediately be on the same side as him. There's a down? I don't know. I am doing. Nice shot. I'm doing a uh, match reuse, so I'm not actually playing right now. I like the choice to slug here. Oh, a third person camera. <laughs> I hated that about Chucky. I hated that about Chucky. Like anytime I would go to like go for a flashlight or flashbang save, he could just see me. <laughs> Which is really lame. I've noticed you let people crawl under pallets a lot and then kind of like panic about getting pallet saves when the where you downed them was not under a pallet. So it's like a situation that you're inviting. Destiny can be quite fun at times. I would try to go back over Yuichi now. Does Yuichi use your final stock for all of your perks? Oh, my head. Well, that's Shack Pallet going, so that's good. Scary doggo. Yeah. Spookaroonie pupperoonie. Yeah, you need to find your Yuichi here, but you let him go earlier. Oh, you could have hit that. No, you could have hit that. It is. I like You're, like heck you're infinite. Oh, you got a little distracted there, though, or confused rather. That's unfortunate. Great right idea, though. That's what new Dracula is kind of built to do after they took away hug tech and made a shapeshift better is do shenanigans like that. Almost like spirit like text. I'm glad that you're doing that. I'll say, you haven't got your pain res on him, so definitely try to get that. You have a stack for everything else, but not pain res. Because you just chose to hook him on a normal hook for no reason. I I thought so. Right. Sorry, I'll go for a second. Oh. Who was your other one? Was that Hinato you chose not to hook? I think it was Hinato. I'm wrong. My apologies. I think it was Hinato. Well, Blights was because Blights didn't take any skill. Like, oh, not any skill. That's a, that's a, that's, that's me being a little harsh. It was very easy. It was more of a knowledge check than anything. Wolf, Wolf form was not. Wolf form, Wolf, like Wolf like tech, you had to do blind. Oh, that's unfortunate. Like you couldn't, you couldn't look <laughs> when you were hug tagging as well. Cause you had to look straight down. So it was actually really hard. So like, I understand why they got rid of that one. Killers having like really over, like quote unquote overpowered text is like fine if it's like hard to pull off. Yeah, I, you do end up getting that. Now pain rest. Right there, right there, right there. There you go. I think the dangers of like quote unquote saving pain res. To get up down here and like this part of the match where like things are really stressful and you're like really having to work really hard to stop the game from ending when you could have just please go after him. Um had the pain res earlier. Wesker's is not only really hard, but also not really helpful in a lot of situations. It's mostly used to make clips, <laughs> realistically. Like, Wesker's hot tech is not very applicable to a lot of situations. 
not very pra practical as well. Yeah, you probably wouldn't get into the pain res. I agree with this, actually. Like, it, all it takes is one person showing up out of, out of nowhere and body blocking you, and then, like, you lose that hook at a very crucial moment in the match. Should not be ideal. Yeah, definitely go after Ace here. Hi, Pickle. How's it going, friend? How are you? Yeah, usually the problem with... I don't know why you willingly took that there. I guess you thought maybe that the bat, the bat would ignore the, uh, the hinder, but it has not worked that way. Yeah, and you lost him as a result. Oh, uh, no. I actually think that that was probably, like, a crucial... I think that's where this match is going to end. Like, that that was probably the game, the game mistake there. The game ending mistake was losing side of somebody who's death right in front of you. Because you wanted to try and circum see if that circumvented that. Well, I think it, I think they thought that, I think they thought that, like, Bat wouldn't be affected by the hinder for some reason. That seems like why that play was made. Okay, that's better than bad. We're just doing our match reviews. Doing a longer stream today. I like the choice not to try and do something fancy with Hellfire and just go for the easy down. Just because you can do something doesn't mean it's the most optimal choice. Oop, you know, light there, brother. I would not invest in this. She's not death arc. So even if you get her down here, she's like, it doesn't matter. Match user for consistency. I'm teaching, yeah. If you had gone over there to them, you would have been able to bring up that gen. I think that like, while it's like the right play to do, and this is a sucky thing is like, I don't like with Oni, like there's a lot of mechanical skill to using the um the bats because it is just like hearing and tracking, but it's in your like like you you lose people kind of easy in bat form, so it's hard to tell you to not do that because like you know it is technically the right play, but like you right now like it doesn't seem like you're able to track people very well in bat form. And you lose people pretty easily. And unfortunately, like, the advice for that is not anything like... You can shoot through between the bark, this tree, and the rock there. You can shoot through that. There you go. A little bit late, because now he's no longer there, but... Hey, Bubbly. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like, you're kind of slip and slidey. That happens to be a lot, because, uh, Candles in the Fog, I'm running all totems, so I'll, ru I'll fly up his bat form to light my pedimento, and I'm just like, Hold on! I'm trying to press my smart! <laughs> Alright, buddy. Yeah, it's really unfortunately one of those things, in terms of advice, I can't tell you anything besides get better, you know? It's not something that you could, like, I can give you advice. It's something you can practice, you know? Like, you just have to get better at listening and reading scratch marks. That's... That's... It's not something that I can give, like... A piece of advice on. It's just practice. And that's a huge accessibility problem in general that Xavier's not addressed, unfortunately. Both as and against spirit. Which sucks. We do have no way out, so... You have really, really good doors, too. You have probably the best doors you could possibly get on this map. So that is in your favor, fortunately. Yeah, you literally just f***ing sit here. Uh, woo. And again, uh, woo. You don't go to down him there. 
Do you really want the 4k that bad? Because if you if you screw this up, they both get out. You gotta be careful. Yeah, you get like confused really easy. Which is like I said, it's just like it's really hard. It's not like a, a you problem, right? It's just a hard thing to do. Yeah, that's why I would just camp. I wouldn't risk it. Yeah, because you can see that door from where she's hooked, so it's not like you gotta go anywhere. You going this far away is making me kind of nervous. Yeah, just chill with her. You can see the other door from that position anyways. Like, there's no reason not to. Bay whiskey for no reason. Yeah, even if you, like, like you can just chill with them anyways, as you can see both doors. It's like, even if he does try to sneak on this other door, you'll see it, so you don't really necessarily be go looking around for him and trying to sniff him out in wolf form. Scummy? It's not even scummy. It's just like, once the game's over, once the gens are done, there's no, like... There is no uh, other objectives. Yeah, he ends up getting that because you were just waddling back and forth and not paying attention. That was a, the most easily earnable 4K that you just threw away for no reason. Because you just weren't paying attention. All right, so in terms of your main takeaways, I feel like once again, in terms of your main takeaway, this is a sucky one here because it's not an advice thing, but I would practice more with the the bat form and listening and try to put an emphasis on that because it seems like you get lost very easily when you're doing that. There are some really good uses of it that you show off this game, like cutting off the infinite using bat form, which is really, really excellent. And I loved seeing that. But you do also at the same time uh, seem like um, you kind of lose people really, really easily with that. And there are several points in this match where you lose someone and it does end up snowballing and hurting you later. Um, your main issue, and which is why you ended up in a bad spot in this match, is you did really, really well. But the second takeaway, and the, the biggest main takeaway that you have, is that at the beginning of the match, you were trying to do too much at once and ended up doing nothing, and you ended up two gens down. Like, you tried to chase A, so you gave up on A. So you tried to go pressure that gen in the corner, but you couldn't find him, so you gave up on trying to find them. And then you ran away, didn't find anybody again, came back to the gen. Like, there was a lot of just, like dead time where you weren't pressuring anything at the beginning of the match and that's why you ended up down two gens fairly early in the game it's because you didn't commit to like anything um like uh dead by daylight at the end of the day is a match of time efficiency and anytime you're kind of like hanging out doing nothing it's time that people are uh converting it into gen pressure match time is gen time as they say in terms of your final main takeaway, uh, there was no reason for you to not camp there at the end game. For some reason, you go in wolf form and kind of just like waddle around the middle of the map. If you had just stayed right next to Nia and then like looked left and right between the two doors, there was no way Yoichi would ever have gotten around you. But because you were like weirdly trying to run out into the middle of the map to try and find him, like you ended up like failing the one objective that you were trying to do with that, which was to find him. He ended up sneaking by you and getting on the door because you weren't looking at the doors. You were just only looking at middle of map, Nia, middle of map, Nia, middle of map, Nia. Like you weren't looking at the doors at all. So the, like you threw away a free kill for no reason. So yeah, those would be my main takeaways.